Hello, anybody here? Okay. Oh, hey kids, how you doing? Uh, have you seen anybody that looks like me but just not as smart? No. Okay. Uh, well, it's a long story, but I'll try to make it short. I've been really busy lately, and so Dr. know it -all, you remember Dr. know it -all. Well, anyway, he said that he could help me out. He's been working on an experiment where he can double the output with half of the input, whatever that means. And so anyway, I said, okay, do the experiment. Well, unfortunately, it didn't quite work out the way it was supposed to work out. And now there's two Pastor Steves running around. There's the smart one, and then there's, well, the not so smart one. And anyway, my not so smart double ran off and I gotta find him so that I can get Dr. know it -all to put us back together again. So I gotta go and, what? Have I prayed about it? No, I haven't. You know what? Maybe I'm not quite as smart as I thought I was. Why don't we spend a little bit of time in worship and prayer and let God take care of all of this, all right? Good idea. Well, let me pray. Eyes closed, head bowed, gentlemen, hats off. Let me pray. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for a chance to get together to worship and to praise you. And God, we just bring you all of our problems and we lay them before you and we ask that you would work them out for your glory and for your benefit, Lord Jesus. And so, Lord, we just want to thank you and we praise you in your precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Let's worship. Jumping, jumping up and down when you're spinning, spinning round and round. God's seeing everything you do, cause He's watching, watching over you. God is watching, watching over you, 24-7 watching over you. Your life is in His hands, whoa, whoa. He's got great big plans, cause He's watching over you.
thanks for the great advice. I needed just to calm down, and that worship and praise was perfect, so thank you. I'm excited this morning because Ian Tang is going to be sharing with us the doxology on his cello. And I just think it's so cool. Ian, thank you so much for sharing your gift of music and playing the doxology for us for offering. Kids, I want to ask you that as we pray and as Ian plays the doxology, that you think about what are you going to give to God this week? Will it be time, talent, treasure? What are you going to give to Him that He can use to build His kingdom? Let me pray. Eyes closed, head bowed, gentlemen, hats off. Lord Jesus, thanks again for this morning. Thank you for a chance to worship and to praise you. And thank you now for a chance to give back to you a small portion of what you've given to us. And Father, whether it be time or talent or treasure, Lord, whatever, whatever we give to you, Lord, may it be a sweet offering and that may it be used by you to uh, build and to grow your kingdom. God, we love you so much and we thank you for this morning. It's in your precious name that we pray. Amen. Ian, awesome job. Thanks again for sharing this morning. All right, so now we got to go find the not so smart Pastor Steve so that we can put the two of us back together again. So, I was telling him about today's lesson. It comes out of John chapter 3. And this is where one of the religious leaders, Nicodemus, comes and talks to Jesus at night. There's actually a couple of important things that take place in there. There's probably the most quoted verse ever, John 3.16, for God so loved the world, all right? And then also, there's a conversation that where Jesus tells Nicodemus that if he wants to see the kingdom of God, that he must be born again, and only then... Did you hear that? Yeah, I just heard it again. Let's go check it out. What are you doing? Ah, I'm getting ready to see the kingdom of God. Why are you dressed like a baby? You said you have to be born again if you want to see the kingdom of God. So I'm a baby so I can see the kingdom of God. Well, I didn't say that. Jesus said that and he said that to Nicodemus. Why don't we watch the video with the kids and hopefully you'll understand, okay? So pay attention. Jesus was in Jerusalem for the Passover feast. One night, a religious man came to see Jesus. The man's name was Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. He studied and taught God's law and he tried very hard to obey the law. Nicodemus wanted to know more about Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. No one could do the miracles you do unless God were with him. Nicodemus had that right. Jesus said, I tell you, unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now Nicodemus was confused. He thought that keeping all God's laws was how a person got into heaven. Besides, what Jesus said didn't make any sense. How can anyone be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked. Jesus said, a person cannot enter God's kingdom unless he is born of water and the spirit. 
Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh, and whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. When a baby is born, he gets physical life from his parents. Physical life doesn't last forever, but the spirit gives people a better kind of life, spiritual life, so they can live with God forever. Jesus said, don't be surprised I told you that you must be born again. Nicodemus still didn't understand. How is this possible? He asked. Jesus said, when you don't believe what I say about things I've seen on earth, how will you believe what I say about the things I've seen in heaven? Do you remember how Moses raised up the bronze snake in the wilderness? Everyone who looked at it was healed. Like that, the Son of Man will be raised up so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. Then Jesus told Nicodemus about God's great plan. Jesus said, God loved the world in this way. He gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God did not send his Son to declare the world guilty but to save the world. Anyone who believes in him is found not guilty, but anyone who does not believe in him is guilty already. Nicodemus needed new life, eternal life, but he could not do anything to earn it. Eternal life is a gift that comes only from God. God showed his love in this way. He sent his one and only son to save the world. Everyone who believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. So do you understand now? So he wasn't talking about a physical birth, he was talking about a spiritual birth. And that birth takes place when we, when we believe in Jesus, that he died for our sins, and when we accept that and begin to follow him, then, we have eternal life. Yay! Eternal life! Uh-oh! What's wrong? Baby go boom boom in his diaper. <laughs> change me! I need to be changed! Ooh. Ooh. Uh, kids, I think we should go and you can sing a worship song and I'm going to see if I can help baby Steve out, okay? Let's worship. Oh my, oh my God. Seek.
Oops. Oh, baby. Yeah. I don't know why he thinks he's so smart. Because I'm not the one throwing away a dirty diaper. <laughs> he is, though. That's right. Well, he's not back yet, so I'm going to remind you of a few things because we're just about done for today. That's right. So, at the end of Digital Sunday School, remember to check in. The link is in the description below, and you just go there and check in. And when you check in, there's two things that you can do. If you want to get a Father's Day gift project, you can sign up for one of those, and Pastor Steve will put it in the mail. Yay! And you can make your daddy a really special craft project for Father's Day. That's right. And then, there's also a place for you to check if you want to play Zoom Bingo with the kids. Yay, kids, we're going to play Zoom Bingo, Zoom Bingo. I like Zoom Bingo. So what you got to do is put a little mark there and you can check it and then you can come play. Well, you're not going to come. We're going to do it on the TV, on the computer. Zoom, 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 Zoom. And then last but not least, we're still still looking for kids that can play instruments. I play instrument. Uh-huh. We're looking for kids that can play instruments that can play the doxology or they can do another worship song. Or maybe you like to sing so you can sing the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Oh, I think I'm going to upload one too. The link is in the description below. So you can upload a song that we can use at offering. Well, normally he's back by now and he would say something like, well, we're all done and it's time to go. So remember, Jesus loves you and I love you. Bye-bye. Baby says bye. Bye.